when you think of plants, you think of different shades of green, sugary nectar, blooming flowers, buzzing bees, unless you're an insect, in which case you also need to think of them as predators out to get you. In this video, we're going to look into the workings of the fascinating traps of the carnivorous plants, Venus flytraps. First discovered around 250 years back and native only to the Carolinas in the United States, these plants only grow 5 to 6 inches. Carnivorous plants are generally found in places where there are very few nutrients in the soil, so they evolve to supplement their diet by getting their energy from unsuspecting insects. While the Venus flytrap can live for up to 20 years, each individual trap only lives for less than 100 days and can only close 4 or 5 times before it starts to die. So they have evolved to be very efficient and only close for insects rich in nutrients that they need and not for random sticks or raindrops. And how do they do that? Each side of the trap has three small trigger hairs that can sense pressure. A simple raindrop would only touch one of the hairs once and nothing happens like you see here. But if another trigger hair is touched within 30 seconds of the first touch, then it closes right away. This is what happens with insects. The trap lures its prey by oozing sweet nectar on its edges. Once an insect gets a whiff, it's hard for it to stay away. It touches one hair and a timer has been set. But if it lingers for just a little bit longer to have some more of that sweet, sweet nectar and touches another hair, then snap! The trap closes four times faster than a human can blink their eye. Now, the flytraps don't have brains, so how do they remember the first time they were touched? Let's hear from Professor Mitsuya Suhasebe, who leads a research team that works on these fascinating plants. They recently made glowing flytraps and found that calcium, the same calcium found in our milk and bones, helps the plants remember the touch. We are really curious why plants can have uh, ability for the memory without any brain and nervous systems. There was a hypothesis. The amount of the calcium change should be a reason of the memory. We made a transgenic uh, Dionea Venus flytrap. So genes, it produce a protein detecting calcium. And with the calcium, that brain shows uh, fluorescence. When we touch plants at the uh, sensory hair, calcium similarly expands from the sensory hair to whole leaves. Then, second time, we touch, and the calcium expands again, in addition to the previous amount. So the calcium signal becomes brighter, higher, more, overcomes the threshold of the movement. First, calcium signals increase, but gradually decreases. If second stimulus comes later, after 30 seconds, decreases too much, and second rise cannot go to the threshold. So within 30 seconds, they can go up. A genius adaptation of the plant is they don't close fully right away, allowing small insects enough time to escape because these would not provide a full meal. A bigger insect is more likely to trigger more hairs as it is moving inside the closed trap and this makes the trap close tighter. Eventually, they form an airtight seal in 6-7 to seven hours so that they can eat their meal in peace. They release digestive juices, much like what our stomach releases to digest our own food. It then opens up once it has completely digested and absorbed its prey and the only thing that's left behind is the exoskeleton or the shell of the insect. 250 years on, there's still more questions than answers about these beautifully evolved plants that Darwin himself referred to as the most wonderful plant in the universe. Thank you for tuning in. This is Rukmini and we'll see you next time with more cool videos.